Northside say go on the highways and the byways? So it's the Northside dealing with you? You don't say, you don't, you don't, you don't believe that. You don't think so. Hey man, the scripture said he better take Luke 2, 9, Luke 9 and 62. I want to give all the praises and the honor to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shah, Bahashem, Rucha Ha Kodash, and double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. Also, a sincere Shalom to the elect, peace to the elect scattered abroad, wherever you may be. I was talking to a couple other brothers, younger brothers, um, of, you know, going to how I've always felt about, um, you know, you always have false brethren. That's part of part of this thing. But you have what you call the Netflix Israelites. <laughs> the Netflix Israelites, you know. When you look at a Netflix Israelite, you know, he's got the different genres. He's got a little action. He's got a little horror. He's got a little comedy. He's got some drama. He's got a little everything going on. And then, you know, the views just start climbing. And there's nothing wrong with getting views as long as it's spiritually. You know, you can't help that if you in this thing sincere in sincerity. But I, I just noticed that when this, uh, this Internet shut down and I was just thinking to the spirit, if the Internet shut down and we were still commanded to go out, I wonder how many so-called brothers would go out there, okay, and continue to teach without YouTube. Or Netflix, you know, kind of wondered that because I, I look back, I look at the history of Apostle Tahar and the Apostles, and I'm just being honest, you know, just being through the spirit. Um, there's a lot of guys that when he was, they were out there, they never came back out. They quit, right? When the 2000 prophecy didn't, so-called prophecy didn't happen, and our teachers has been out there before YouTube, and then when the YouTube scene came, right? Then here comes the flood. Now, like being fishers of men and, and apostles that they are, you're going to catch, you're going to put the net out there, you're going to get the good, and then you're going to get the unclean, right? That you got to throw back, or is just going to jump out of the net and go back anyway. And I just wanted to talk on that because um, I've seen, it, and I don't glorify anybody dropping out or, you know, but if it's bringing harm to you as the body, you know, then we don't need it. But I just noticed that uh, I looked at a, you know, brother, ex-brother, I guess. <clears throat> looked at his page and uh, he hasn't did a video in two years. Right? Three years even. I don't know. It's been some years. And, you know, you can't worry about that. You just move on. It just it so happened that his old channel popped up. And I started, you know, me and the brothers was talking. And there's a lot of Jake doing this for the fame. Jake wants to be seen. I've seen him go up and sit on the, the the apostles' couch, right? The couches. I remember those days. Or to go to stand up there with them. 
and they always bug the hell out. Right? I've seen that happen too. A lot of the biggest dropouts were the ones that got on a a, a, a mass transit or whatever they, or a train and they shoved their way right on up there to sit with the apostles. Where are they now, man? You know why? Because they was never in it for sincerity. They was in for in it for the drama. See, a lot of times when it, 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 when YouTube came about and those cameras start rolling, everybody thought they was a goddamn actor of, uh, uh, all of a sudden. And a lot of them are actors. But everybody thought they was the center of attention. There's a lot of jakes that didn't make it in some type of social life in the world. And then they come into the truth and they make it their own. You got guys that wait till Friday night. They can't wait. And they can't wait to get up and get in front of that camera. But all week have done nothing. Maybe a video here or there. And that brings me to the next thing. Uh, because I witnessed brothers. And you know I always want brothers to continue. Even if they fall from us. You continue. But what does the scripture say? Right? Let's go to Luke 2 and 24. It says, Let that therefore abide in you, which ye have heard from the beginning. If that which ye have heard from the beginning shall remain in you, ye, shall, ye also shall continue in the Son and in the Father. You know, and I do these videos for rebukes and correction. Because you got guys that leave because they didn't want to do the three videos a week. They make an excuse and make it seem like it's my fault or leadership fault or somebody's fault. But they need an excuse because it's too hard for them. And they really just want to be in front of the camera. They really don't want to sit behind the, uh, the desk, look up scriptures, read scriptures, follow order, right? They really don't want to be with brothers. They don't want to acknowledge brothers. They just want to kind of do their own thing and they want to set their own standards and they kind of want to make their own so uh um so to speak they want to make their own uh will so to speak okay they want to make their own they want to build their own reputation so to speak okay so i've seen this right i've seen this and i've seen it happen an awful lot so if you should happen to break off and you should happen to do your own thing you should be continuing in what you were taught, right? Let's go. Let's go here. Let's go to uh, 2 Timothy. Um, 2 Timothy 3 and 15. But continue thou in the things which thou has learned and has been assured of, knowing of whom thou has learned them. So you got some, you know, I'm telling you, these it's Netflix Israelites. You got Netflix Israelites. They might have learned from uh zabak they might have learned from apostle uh you know the apostles of great millstone they might have learned i should be k they might have learned from different groups and then they kind of just go out there winging it and in their mind they're saying that we're doing what you're doing but actually you're not because you had no love for the brothers it's something if if uh you're going to leave and you can continue to do the work you should at least acknowledge your brothers. But then you got guys who, who will acknowledge the teachers, right? But they will never acknowledge their brothers. And this is what I call, on some levels, Netflix Israelites. They're in it for the show. Now, only they know. Whoever that may be, whoever you may be, I'm not particular saying anybody's name, but to whom it may concern. We've seen a lot of these guys um, from Chicago, I believe Chicago. I, I don't keep up with them like that. They was in the truth. But they left. The camera stopped rolling because not getting enough attention. Then they come back and they want more attention. Right? These are those, you know, I see guys like this. And I'm and this is going to again what I was saying. If the internet shut off, the famine of the word, let's say the internet shuts back off, say for the day you go out. One if you lot of guys going if you guys gonna go out anyway. Maybe because you can record and then you put it up the next day, so maybe you'll still do it. But let's say YouTube shuts down completely. What you gonna do? Now when the Lord tell us, hey, not to go out there no more, we don't go out there no more. I'm just making this relevance because uh, our teachers have been going out there before YouTube. 
right? And then you got guys that come in, they're a little bit jealous because they know the apostles is out there first. So then they try to make a name for themselves to make themselves to, see, to show better than them. Maybe a little jealousy, I don't know. But a lot of you Jakes, you haven't never really proven yourself. You haven't been in a situation to prove yourself. You've never been there. There's men that's been in this thing that has proven themselves. That stuck around and, and, and had hardships. When they, got, when they left from the uh, main school, they continued. But they continued in what they were taught through the Spirit. Now, if you're going to make up a new doctrine, and you're going to continue in your new doctrine, and that's what you do. But don't claim that you're part of us. If you are part of us, you'll walk with us. If you're not a part of us, then walk your own way. That's what I see. You don't have to be, you know, exactly. The scripture says that not all of them that say they're with us are, are with us, but against us, right? But don't fake it. And and I, again, this doesn't pertain to any particular person. I've witnessed certain things. I've seen certain things. And again, I see the apostles. They didn't prove themselves. The elders too. Let me say that. The elders too. Before this uh, YouTube thing came about. And a lot of you guys now all of a sudden. The YouTube came about. You're the showstoppers. Right? You're the scripture cutters. The sword, shot, the sword uh, cutters. You're the, the verse learners. The Bible verse learners, man. You know it. But secretly... You're just putting on an act, man. I've seen guys do that time and time again. They put on an act. If you're really, in the bottom line is, if you really are not sincere about it, don't do it. Right? Don't do it. Uh, 1 Corinthians 12 and 20. But now, but now are they many members, yet but one body. I just wanted to cut that real short. Right? We're still supposed to be one body. We still supposed to have that love for one another, regardless, right? So you know, we see the act. We see the men that go up there and sit down with the apostles and stand there and shaloming them and saluting them, but secretly, they have a niggardly demon, right? They have a arterial motive. They have some form of wicked, filthy lucre lurking inside of them on how they can gain advantage, because that's what filthy lucre mean. To gain a, a negative advantage. Seen that too. I'm not going to go into detail. A lot of you guys need to evaluate what the hell you're doing. What are you doing this for? Are you doing this for your how about Shimmy Or are you doing this for some old secret fetish that you had for, because you you didn't make it in, in uh, as a um, whatever athlete in school, homecoming? Where everybody's cheering and it's the, the fans and the, the cameras. Yeah, I've heard guys say that too. They just wanted to be in front of the camera. I mean, this is crazy. This is crazy. I, I think, think we were just talk, speaking on that because I, I've looked at this brother that was in the truth. And three years later, he's, he's nobody knows where he's at. And it was just meant for him. The scripture says many are called, a few are chosen. I can't be concerned about that. But it is concerning when, you know, it, you have to watch men that come into the faith and see if they're sincere. This is why men have to be tried. This is why nobody should just be flooding into the camp. I was new years back. I didn't know any better. The camp leader that, that time that was over me, he didn't care. Just go to my garment. He don't care. It's all about numbers. Well, the scriptures tell you it's not about numbers. It's about the elect. It is numbers, but it's about the small number. Many are called, a few are chosen. The, uh, the elect and the 144,000 in the elect. So it's not about even views. It's not about all the numbers. Because you know what you get when you get uh, 100,000 views? I, I did that before. You know what you get? 85% of the comments are BS. 85% of those comments are BS. No nutritional value in the spirit. Nothing. Everybody has opinions. Everybody on who should speak, who shouldn't speak, this or that. In other words, they managed to take, take the truth and turn it to some type of social gathering, right? Like at the Water Buffalo Lodge or something, you know? At the uh, some particular 
uh, gathering a gathering nightclub. That's what Jake has turned it into. I don't know. We just ain't in, in, those, in the time for that. And I just wanted to talk on that, that, you know, the Lord's not dealing with the Netflix, right? He's dealing with sincere soldiers. They're out, really, to do this thing in sincerity and truth. That's all I have on that, Shalom.